Hi friends, how are you doing? In the last couple of uh, lessons, we've been discussing about work done and some of the misconceptions that uh, we, uh, mistakes we tend to make around the displacement in computing the work done. So in this uh, lesson, I'm going to cover three numericals where each of these uh, misconceptions are going to get addressed. So here we go. The next numerical is about a person pushing a cart again with a force of 10 Newton, but uh, in a direction as shown here, four meters and three meters, each perpendicular to each other. So in this numerical, the person is pushing the car uh, in this L-shaped fashion. First, he's pushing the car uh, four meters, then changing direction and pushing it perpendicular to his earlier direction by three meters. So the uh, smart people amongst us will think, hey, here too, uh, work done is equal to force into displacement. Okay, and uh, I need to calculate the displacement in this case and it's a nice juicy uh, right angle triangle and I can uh, you know calculate the displacement by finding the hypotenuse isn't it so if this is a and this is b we believe that a b is the hypotenuse and um, we can calculate that by taking square square root of 16 plus 9 uh, which is square root of 25 which is 5 meter right so if we think in this way and use 5 meter uh, for calculating this then our approach is wrong because this is the misconception we uh, while calculating the work done this formula does not work in that way okay so what we actually need to do is uh, we need to compute the work done as the cart is being pushed from let's say a to p and then compute the work done when the cart is being pushed from p to b okay so we break it down into two parts w1 and w2 so in this journey ap we have been given that uh, force is 10 newton so we will use that uh, work done in uh, journey ap is going to be 10 newton multiplied by this uh, particular distance which is 4 meter therefore it is 40 newton meter and the work done in the pb journey so if you look at here the force is being applied in this direction. Displacement is also in this direction. So both force and displacement have angle zero. Similarly, in here too, force and displacement being parallel to each other have angle zero, okay? So we take this work done and we calculate work done two separately. That becomes three into 10, 30 Newton meter or 30 joules. Therefore, the total work is going to be 70 joules, okay? 70 joules, that's how we should uh, compute the work done in these cases. Person is going to push a card with a force of uh, 10 Newton, 5 meters towards right, then turns around and pushes it 5 meters towards left, and we are supposed to find the work done by the person. So in this problem, uh, this person is pushing a cart with uh, 10 Newton's force and is traveling from A to B, a distance of uh, five meters, and is turning back and coming back to A, once again traveling a distance of five meter, right? So the common misconception here is, uh, this person has gone from A to B and back to A, therefore displacement is zero. Therefore, work done is equal to zero. So this is the common misconception, right? But um, as we've been discussing in physics, work done doesn't work in that way, right? How does it uh, happen? You have to consider this as one leg of the journey. Look at this force being applied in this direction, 10 Newton, and look at the displacement. Displacement is also in this direction. So force and displacement being in the same direction, the angle theta between them is zero. So we can simply say force multiplied by this particular distance, which is five meters, okay? So if we call this as W1, work done in the first leg of the journey from A to B will be 10 Newton multiplied by five, which is going to be 50 Joule. Now let's consider the return journey. 
in the return journey no doubt the force is uh, acting in the opposite direction but even the displacement here is from b to a that means the displacement is also in this direction so if you want to consider this force as negative we, we will say it's minus 10 and this displacement is minus 5 we can do that right but we must realize that force and displacement are once again in the uh, parallel to each other that means the angle between them is zero okay therefore the work done in the return journey also happens to be 10 or minus 10 multiplied by minus 5 okay so that would be 50 joule once again leaving us with total work done w is equal to 100 joule i hope you have understood this question second vehicle that we are discussing here is about a person pushing a cart with a force of 10 newton around a circle of radius 1.5 meter we can visualize the problem in this way So in this numerical, this person is uh, pushing the cart around a circle of radius 1.5 meter and we are asked to calculate the work done, right? So the common misconception here once again is with respect to the displacement where we think if a person is going from one point and returning back to the same point, displacement is zero, right? So uh, that is a misconception while calculating the work done, it doesn't work in that way, right? How we do it is we kind of break this uh, displacement into small small displacements let's consider this part and then during this part we are we realize that force and displacement are in the same direction with theta being equal to zero okay so we compute uh, you know we can compute a work done w1 for this section and then look at this particular section where the direction of the force has changed and we want to calculate the displacement, the displacement direction also has changed. So in this section also, the work done and the displacement, uh, the force and the displacement, both of them are in the same direction. So you can imagine that in every stretch around the circle, the force and displacement continue to be parallel to each other. And what we need to do is we need to compute those individual chunks of work and sum it up okay so that is how this thing works so if you look at it the force is constant so the, the overall distance here would be 2 pi r which is the circumference of the circle so our circumference is going to be 2 into pi into r r is nothing but 1.5 can be written as 3 by 2 okay so that uh, leaves us with uh, 66 by 7 66 by 7 meter and work done is going to be equal to by the logic that we have just now used the force which is 10 newton multiplied by the circumference of the circle which is 66 by 7 66 by 7 7 9 63 30 7 force so around 9.4 so 10 into 9.4 would give us 94 joule okay so that's how we calculate the uh, work done when a person is going around a circle. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please like and uh, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to share it with your family and friends and don't forget to visit our website www.cogitarylearning.com where you have linked to all the videos that we have been recording so far. Thank you once again.